Penn long before he became one of America's most well-known novelists. Monterey County icon John Steinbeck wrote three books that were never published. Two of them he destroyed. The other has remained in archives relatively unknown until now. Action News 8 reporter Ariana Hasso has more on Steinbeck's unpublished manuscript. And I was really surprised to discover that it, it wasn't some unfinished draft or some sort of just, just wacky experiment. It was a complete novel. The novel's name, Murder at Full Moon, a murder mystery involving werewolves. And Stanford professor Gavin Jones is one of a few who have ever read the book. Steinbeck takes this atmosphere and, and turns it into uh, detective fiction with a kind of an environmentalist twist to it. And it is, you know, it's a pot boiler. It's uh, not something that we tend to associate with um, Steinbeck. It may be unlike any of Steinbeck's other works, but what's the same is where it's located. Supposedly it's set in um, somewhere like Castroville or a coastal town or slightly inland town on a marsh in the kind of Monterey area, maybe north of Monterey. And it's all about the environment. It's all about the central coast. It's all about the fogs and the mists and the mud of the swamp and the power of nature and the way that all of these natural forces are kind of threatening to overwhelm a human uh, habitation. Jones says Steinbeck unsuccessfully tried publishing the book in his early career and now wants the public to experience Steinbeck as he's never been read before. So I think it would be it would be uh, received with 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 fascination. However, Steinbeck's estate has chosen not to publish it, telling the online publication The Guardian, quote, Steinbeck wrote it under a pseudonym and did not choose to publish the work during his lifetime. I mean, why? What, what, what's the hide, you know? I mean, it's, um, it's an interesting book by one of the greatest writers of the 20th century. It's complete. It's offering us a whole new Steinbeck. It's, it's a weird and wonderful, uh, quite well-written um, detective novel. Um, okay, I mean, it, 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 it gets a little weird at times, but weird is good. Professor Jones tells me that he's hoping that in time the estate will change their mind, but for now, we just need to give them time. Reporting from Studio A, Ariana Hasso, KCBW Action News 8.